Hi everyone, this is the U2 Universal Remote Control from Sofa Button. In my video, I'm gonna show you how to set it up using the Sofa Button app on your smartphone. I'm gonna also show you how to add devices to it so that you can control them with this remote control. And most importantly, I'm gonna show you how to assign macros to one of the buttons so that you can control two or more devices with a press of only one button. So for instance, you can turn on or off your TV and speakers with only one press of a button. As a full disclosure, Sofa Baton reached out to me and sent me this free sample to test it. But the opinions you're gonna see in this video are only mine. No one reviewed this video before I published it and I wasn't compensated to make this video. So let's start first by unboxing it to show you what's in the box. Let's unbox it. box is a bit hard to open. So this is a user manual. This is a remote control. It really looks good. And this is a nice touch. They provide two AA batteries with it. This is a compartment for the batteries. To open it, push on it like this and it opens. Then put it back in like this. The first thing you need to do is to install the application on your smartphone. So depending on your smartphone type, Android or iOS, scan the corresponding QR code and install the application. When you install the application, it will ask you to register. So here I already installed it and I registered for an account and I'm going to launch it now. When you start the application, press on the remote control that you have. So here I have the U2. I'm going to tap on it and then it will ask you if you want to use the location. So I'm going to say while using the app. And then for Bluetooth also, tap on allow and then allow once again. And now on the remote control, press and hold the minus and E buttons until the screen of the remote control says pairing. So now it says pairing. And on your smartphone, tap on connect. So it says successfully connected when it is connected. Now it is prompting you to add devices. So now I'm going to start adding my devices. So I'm going to tap on add here. And then I'm going to tap on the type of the remote control. So all my devices work with an infrared remote control. So tap on infrared. And I'm going to search for it because I know that it is in the catalog. So it is a Roku TCL TV. So I'm going to tap on search. And then here I'm going to type Roku. Select Roku. And then here I'm going to scroll until I find TV. And then this is it, TV TCL. So I'm going to select it. And these are the buttons that the application will assign to the remote control. And I'm okay with these buttons. So you have the on off button and so on. So I'm going to tap on next. And here you can change the icon. So I'm going to change the icon to reflect a TV here. So I'm going to select the TV. And then name Roku. It's okay for me. I'm going to tap on complete. And now you notice the screen of the remote control will say downloading. And the information will be downloaded to the remote control. So now the upload for the Roku TV is finished. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to add my edifier speakers that are connected to my TV. And the edifier speakers, they don't exist in the catalog of the application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the remote control learn from the original remote control of my edifier speakers. So here I'm going to tap on complete and then add once again and then infrared once again. And here I'm going to choose learning instead of searching. And the first thing it will ask me to do is to put the remote controls next to each other. So I'm going to put them like this. Let me zoom out so that you see a little bit better. So now tap on next. And the first thing is that I'm going to make it learn the power on off button. So what I need to do here is that I need to assign the button first on the application. So this is the button I wanted to learn. And now I press the on off button here and it will learn it. It says learning. And it learned it. And I'm going to do the same for all the important buttons that I use. So I'm going to put the volume up and down buttons. And then the mute button. And then the input selection buttons. So I'm going to do them quickly as I've done the on off button. So now when you finish learning the buttons, tap on next. And then tap on next once again. And here you need to name the device. So I'm going to name it Edifier. And then for the device icon, I'm going to change it to a stereo icon. And then here... Press on next when you finish everything and then on complete and everything will be downloaded here to the remote control as you see. 
both devices are now in the remote control but what i want to do now is i'm gonna add a macro key so that with one button i can turn on or off both devices and this is how i'm gonna do it in the application tap on the main device that you're gonna use all the time so here i'm gonna tap on roku and then i'm gonna tap on remote keys and here I'm going to tap on the key that I want to assign it as an on-off key for both devices. And you need to choose a key that is not assigned already to any function for Roku. So this is the input key here. It is not assigned to any function. I'm going to tap on it. And then I'm going to tap create macro for this key. And here you need to add the keys that will be activated with this macro. So I'm going to tap on plus and you choose your devices from the left. I'm gonna start with the Roku. So this is a power on off button. It is added to this macro. I'm gonna add now the edifier and the power on off button also. And now I'm gonna save it. So tap on save. And the macro button is saved now. And also what you can do here, for instance, if you wanna add buttons to control other devices while you're selecting Roku, you can also do it. For instance, if you take this button here that is not assigned, you can here click on the assign remote key and you can assign it to any function in Roku or in Edifier. So now I'm gonna take the remote control and I'm gonna demonstrate all this to you on my TV and on my Edifier speakers. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you the remote control and this is my Roku TV and these are my edifier speakers on the left and on the right and you're going to notice the macro button that I've put this one here it's going to turn on both of them so I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to press and notice the LED light on the edifier turned on also and now let's go to YouTube also with the remote control everything is working and this is everything on the remote control working. So for instance, these are the volume up and down. And notice on the TV they work. And the mute button also works. Of course, also individually, you can here press to turn off only the TV if you want. And if you want to go to Edifier here, you scroll to Edifier. You turn it off here. I'm going to zoom in on the Edifier so that you see the LED light. So notice the LED light on the Edifier. So also with this button here, you can turn it off. And let me demonstrate to you now the macro button, how it turns everything off also, like I showed you how it turned them on. So this will turn off both devices. So I really like the Sofa Baton U2 remote control. It covers all the needs that I wanted for my remote controls. So it replaced two remote controls. And now with one button, I can turn on and off two devices at the same time. This is what I wanted. By the way, if you want to check out this U2 remote control from SofaBato, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage at no cost to you, and this will help my channel. I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.